in case you guys don't know, if you have a Logitech webcam, so any type of logic, I think this works with any type of Logitech webcam. I specifically use the C922, but this also works with the C920, like other Logitech webcams, okay? So y'all y'all saw right when I started stream that I looked really bad, right? My camera and lighting looked horrendous. My frame rate was really low. It was just looking really bad, right? And now you can see how my camera looks like this and it's like, wait, what happened, right? I'm telling you, the difference is Logitech G-Hub. Sorry, I'm lagging a little bit. Hi, Samurai. Oh, you already know that I'm going to be putting this on YouTube? Okay, but here's my Logitech webcam, right? So under the camera mode, swap it off of default onto streaming. Onto streaming. Default does not prioritize frame rate, so you will only have like 30 frames per second, which is why your frames will look so skippy and your camera won't look smooth and you'll look kind of like pixely. You're, you're probably going to be like, why other people have the exact same camera as me? Why do other people with the exact same web... Uh, why do other people with the exact same Logitech webcam look way better than mine? It's because they're using Logitech G-Hub. So again, swap it off of default to streaming. And then under priority, there's like two options. I forgot what the other one was, but prioritize frame rate. You really want to prioritize frame rate. That's how you're going to get the smooth motion. You guys saw when my Logitech G-Hub wasn't on, it was so trippy. But the problem, once you make these changes, it's going to throw all your lighting out of whack. So then you have to go under a video and make a new video filter and then just manually adjust all the colors and stuff.